Greetings, friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. Marketing master Jim Ackerman here with Biz Kaboom's latest edition of Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where you get to take a look at an advertising specimen and tell me whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly from an effectiveness point of view. And then I tell you whether you're right or not. And today I've got a really special promotion to show you. You see, here's a postcard. And what's special, about this is the address side of the postcard. Normally would have the address right there, okay? And then the message side of the postcard. I think that's always interesting. People refer to postcards as front and back. You've you got no idea which way somebody's going to see that first when it comes in the mail, right? They might, some people will see the address side. Some people will see the message side. So let's stick to those terms. So on the message side, it talks about, do you know someone with, an, someone with a leap year birthday? Of course you do, your local jeweler, Ben. And he talks about his offer, which is 29% off for the 29th only. So it's an eight-hour sale. And on the address side, it says Ben's birthday blowout, February 29th only. It does not make mention of the 29% off. Now, this is only half of the promotion. You see, he only sent this postcard to half of his list. What he did was sent this letter to the other half of his list in a plain old envelope. And the envelope had some teaser copy on it that talked about the 29% off. And I'm sorry I didn't bring the envelope for you to take a look at it. But it did come in, a number 10 envelope, talked about uh, leap year, 29% off, that kind of thing. Take a look at this headline up here, okay? Monday, February 29th, 29% off, eight hours only. And then if you look closely at the, uh, the content of the letter, a lot of the copy is pretty similar to what's on the postcard. So really, it's a format issue. Who would rather receive a letter versus a postcard? Well, that's what you have to vote on right now. Go ahead and stop the video if you need to. Take as much time as you want to look at both options and determine which one you think is good, bad, or ugly. Or are they all good, bad, and or ugly? Which one do you think pulled best? You figure that out and then start the video again and I'll tell you whether you're right or wrong because I will reveal the actual truth of the matter. So the question is, which one pulled best? The postcard or the letter? Uh, we don't know which, you can tell me which one is good, bad, or ugly from an aesthetics point of view, or which one you like best. But at the end of the day, it's the results that count, and I'm here to tell you that if you voted for the... letter, you voted for the winner. The letter outpulled the postcard by 250%. In other words, two and a half times more people came as a result of the letter than the postcard. What does this tell Ben? It tells Ben how his customers like to be talked to. And you may think, hey, postcards are quick, easy, they don't have to open anything, that's the easy way to do it. But you'd be surprised at how many times a letter will actually outpull a postcard, and often by dramatic margins. If the marketing master says this is a good package or a good test, isn't that an interesting lesson in your quest to determine not only what's good and bad and ugly from a marketing point of view, but in your quest to determine how to get more customers who will pay you more money more often the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible. That's what you get right here on Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads.